Hey y'all, welcome to Lamb Living. My name is Holly Lamb, and today I am joining the Napkin Exchange Challenge. Sarah from Sunflowers and DIYing is our host, and Mimi from Handicrafting with Mimi sent me my napkin. She's our guest host. And look at this beautiful set of napkins and all kinds of goodies. I'm gonna use those ribbons from the Dollar Tree. And look at the beautiful springy napkins. This one with the uh, green music, she must know that I'm a musician. That's gonna be the superstar of our uh, video today. And then so many other pretty napkins. Let's start with these flower napkins. Um, I'm not sure, I feel like I've seen these before, but I can't remember where. But I want to add to my dining room. I'm kind of doing an updo on my dining room for spring and uh, in this video. And I'm going to take these napkins, the, the green ones with the music on it, kind of inspired me to do a musical theme. Of course, that doesn't take much too much inspiration since I'm a music teacher and a church musician. So... I'm going to use my uh, wonder under method and apply these napkins to some music. You see, I've got a couple of old methods there that I don't use anymore. I've got uh, just countless. I have a big filing cabinet of, of method books that to, uh, to choose from. And so I just pulled that out. It's perfectly patinaed. I love the, the old look of that old music. And uh, so I'm just going to put some Wonder Under on the back of these napkins. And this is just the regular Wonder Under. I use a dry iron, no steam, and uh, put it kind of up in the middle. I want it to be hot, but I want it on the no steam setting, even though I don't have any water in my iron. And uh, then I'm just going to kind of go over and, you know, heat up all of that Wonder Under. I've put a piece of parchment paper. Parchment paper is the key. And uh, we'll keep everything nice and uh, nice and easy. We love this method because it's easy. And then I'm going to cut it out and let it cool off. Now, once it's cooled off, you can pull the parchment off. But that's not what I'm pulling off. I'm pulling off the backing to the Wonder Under. I'm going to leave the parchment on the other side. So what I'm pulling off here is the backing to the Wonder Under. And I'm revealing the glue, the, um, the Wonder Under itself, on the underside of this uh, pretty napkin and you see as it opened up these three colors are just beautiful they're just a beautiful uh transparent lovely um color with just that little bit of a fl floral design and uh, these were three ply napkins these are really good napkins um they took a little a little bit of effort to get off both uh, of the extra plies there but uh they are really really nice napkins all right so now I'm going to choose just a page from my method book, my uh, music, and I'm going to put it down. I still have the parchment paper on the front there. I haven't taken that off because parchment makes everything easier when it comes to any kind of ironing and adhering with uh, Wonder Under or any kind of Mod Podge. And so I'm going to let that cool off, right? And then I'll be able to take that parchment paper off and then cut it and trim it how I want. So I have the glue side, the Wonder Under side down and the parchment up. And I'm just going to go ahead and put the flowers in each of those colors. I think that's the pink and there's the green. I'm going to do the purple as well because I use all three colors because they're beautiful spring colors. Just the perfect shade to bring a little spring into my dining room. And now I'm just going to kind of fussy cut around the napkin because this, of course, you saw that this napkin is, um, you know, a, a design in and of itself. It was beautiful, just gorgeous. I'm going to have to look for these napkins. They were gorgeous. Maybe I'll message Mimi and find out where she put them, where she got them. All right, so I am not going to glue these together. I'm just going to fold it. And you see I'm pulling off the parchment there. I think that must be the purple one and uh, cut the middle out. There we go. And then I'm not going to glue the music together. I'm going to let that the backing of this music show as well. And I'm just going to take my uh, glue gun and some of that uh, ribbon that Mimi sent in uh, my package from the Dollar Tree. I've seen these at the Dollar Tree. Um, and they're just three little burlap ribbon designs that are kind of matching there. I guess that one may be the pink 
and I'm pulling off the parchment there. The parchment stays on nicely, so it makes it easy to cut, easy to trim, and then it pulls off very nice, and I've slowed it down here so you can see how pretty, because the pink is so sheer and so pretty, but you can see that floral pattern. Oh, I love it. All right, so I'm gonna use each one of these on each of my flowers, and they are going to get a string to hang on my uh, bee garlands in the windows of my dining room. And I just took some of the water from my painting, uh, where I put my paintbrushes, and I, I kind of wet the burlap ribbon to straighten it out so I wouldn't have those bends in it. And then you saw I just wiped up with the water where I kind of wet the, the burlap. It pulls the, the wrinkles right out of that. Sometimes I take it up and use my hair straightener. But uh, I was downstairs, so I just used a little water to straighten out that ribbon. And it does a great job with that so you don't have those little little folds and creases. And there we go. So I just kind of folded it very loosely so you could still see the music on the underside because that music makes me so happy. And it is just part of who I am. And my husband's a musician. We're all musicians here in this house. So there they are. Now, I couldn't leave well enough alone. And solo wood flowers just make me happy as well. So I bought this little pack from Amazon. And this is a pack of their minis. And it has both the natural and they call the skinned ones, the ones that have kind of brown on it, has some of the natural uh, wood, uh, I guess the bark. And they are so pretty, but I'm using kind of the natural ones. And then I add some of the skinned ones with the darker to the, to the bow as I tie them to my bee garlands. You'll see that in a minute when I show you in the dining room. I cut the ribbon in half, hung it from the bee garlands, and then tied the extra ribbon around in a, just a simple shoestring bow, and then put some of more solo wood flowers. And there I've got some lamb's ear, and that's just a, a metal a butterfly from the Dollar Tree that I painted and distressed. And there's my beautiful uh, flowers from the napkins that I wander under. That is such an easy way. No drying time necessary. That is an easy way to decoupage. That is so fun. All right, now we're going to move to the Superstar napkin. This one really was the one that caught my eye. And it just reminded me we're getting ready to come into March. And I love green, all things green for March and St. Patrick's Day. And it has tiny little strawberries on it, which is so cute and so wonderful. So I may uh, put out some strawberries later. This was a two-ply napkin, which made it nice and easy to pull off that one ply. Now... I love these. Of course, there's my matte Mod Podge. That's what I'm going to use, the traditional matte Mod Podge for this. Now, these are the tiles from, you can get them at the Dollar Tree. I get mine at Family Dollar because they're only a dollar. They're not a dollar twenty-five at the Family Dollar yet. So while they're still a dollar, I'm going to take advantage of that and uh, get my tiles. You've seen them. They are those fun, uh, you know, stickable tiles from you can get at Dollar Tree. They come in all kinds of things, uh, just regular tile. This this particular pattern is my favorite. And they're normally kind of a silvery gray, but I spray painted them copper for fall. And so I had these copper ones. I had put uh, just pieces of cardboard from the calendars from the Dollar Tree uh, on the back to keep them nice and stiff. And I put them in the back of my hutch for fall, just to have that copper uh, patina. That was kind of my thing uh, for fall this past year was um, all things bronze and copper. And so I'm going to put these napkins on top. Now, the cardinal rule of decoupage is decoupage on white. But look at what this looks like on the copper. I didn't know how it was going to turn out, but oh my goodness, it is so beautiful. It looks like antique and, you know, that kind of patinaed look that copper gets with the green and uh, oh my goodness it looks like something from a a, a a some type of um cathedral in europe where you know some statue has turned uh, a beautiful greenish color oh i love it so much look how pretty and then i just hot glued the the napkins on the back to make a nice finished edge and look at the hutch in my dining room I put my uh, put out some of my uh, copper molds 
that I have thrifted over the years and on, t on the front of this. And I just love how that looks on the back of my hutch for spring. Okay, so here is this uh, lantern that I made back in October for a November napkin challenge. And I'll link some of those in the, uh, in the description box below. So this was for Thanksgiving, and then I did this one for winter. This is a napkin I got in an exchange challenge for Christmas. And I believe that was from the Dollar General. So this could not be easier. I have done this for, like I say, the last two seasons, and I'm going to do it for spring with this one napkin I had left. Mimi sent me five of these. Thank you, Mimi. I loved them. And I'm going to have to try to find some more. But um, I had one more left to put into my lantern. And so that's pretty much going to, um, going to make two panels for my, it wasn't gonna make, gonna, wasn't gonna be big enough to make three. So I decided um, after I finished putting the Matte Mod Podge on the back of the napkin and let it dry, I'm going to just peel it off there. That's the back of the napkin. And then I'm gonna flip it over. There we go, and there's the front. So it has that beautiful matte finish. There's the back and the front, okay. Yes. So the back of the napkin has the glue. And so that's what's going to be um, on the inside. It's still going to look really nice. It has a little kind of a little bit of a sheen to it. So I'm just going to tear out that uh, Christmas napkin because this is so easy to do. I can put anything in this and uh, don't worry about saving it. So I need, I need two more panels. So I pulled out my vellum paper and this is just the transparent stuff. And then pulled out my Whispering Willow Iron Orchid Designs Transfers. Oh, I love this book. And uh, so I, I'm going to pull out this bunny because, of course, Easter's coming. But this bunny means so much more to me. And uh, because every morning uh, in the spring, I drive around Sea Island Road, which goes through the marsh, and I count the marsh bunnies. I haven't seen them yet. It's still the end of February. So just in a few weeks, I'm going to start seeing the bunnies come out of hibernation and all of the marsh bunnies here on St. Simons are brown and they're darling. And this little bunny from the IOD transfer book, it's a little light. My little brown bunnies are all dark brown, but they are such a joy to see in the morning. And I count them. I tell my husband how many marsh bunnies I see in the morning on a spring morning as I drive to school, coming around Sea Island Road. Um, it, you know, if I can see one or two, that's a great day. But if I can see four or five, that's a really great day. That's a great spring day when I see five marsh bunnies having their breakfast on the side of Sea Island Road in the grass. But I'm just going to take hot glue and put my napkin in this, uh, this, these frames. I made this back in that, the, the actual lantern itself, back in that uh, October video for Thanksgiving, coming up on Thanksgiving. So if you wanted to see that, be sure to, all that was from the dollar store, all those uh, fixings and parts and frames. Uh, so I'm just gonna do two, two vellum sheets here, using more of this, the florals and the pretty things from these IOD transfers. And as you know, you've probably seen um, me or somebody else do these transfers. They're like adult stickers. They're just so much fun to use and so easy. I uh, take the backing off, you know, I trim it to what exactly what I need, take the backing off, and then I make sure I know exactly where I want it before I lay it down because it's going to stick. And we don't want to tear up these gorgeous images and then you get the wave started. You get the, kind of get it going. And then you uh, scrape and pull, scrape and pull. And it comes off beautifully. And you have gorgeous art instantly on, gosh, all kinds of things. This is the first time I tried it on vellum. And it's it's a win-win. It's, you know, I've, I've had a hard, I, I honestly I haven't found anything that has not been super easy to do. And so here I put this one. I'm going to lay it just ever so slightly on top of the other one. And they adhere to each other beautifully. They adhere to a fabric and, and metal and paint and um, all kinds of things. And so here I go. I'm just going to hot glue with just the slightest amount of hot glue. It won't take much. Here I am. I'm always, always cut big. 
and then trim and measure and trim, measure and trim, because I don't want to cut it short. And that vellum did a great job. That was awesome. I'm really enjoying vellum right now. I'm, I'm starting to print on it. I want to uh, use the vellum to put uh, an initial. We're going to put uh, kind of a crest on some vellum and put in my daughter's wedding invitations. We've already sent out the save the dates. And uh, so now it's time to get serious and uh, get the wedding invitations going because they're going to be, um, we're going to try and make them a little fancy. And uh, these vellum sheets are easy to print on. And now I know I can do transfers. Oh man, my wheels are turning for the wedding invitations. And so I put in all four sides. There's the little floral for one side so I can turn it around. And did you see that mushroom that I put with the bunnies? Oh my goodness, it's so cute. Oh, I'm just mushroom crazy right now. The new ID release came out last week and I got the mushroom molds and so it's time. I've got to do some mushrooms here pretty soon or I'm just going to burst. Okay, so here's the rest of my... I, that was a nice big bag of Sola wood flowers uh, from uh, you know, uh, Amazon and Amazon keeps uh, Sola wood flowers um, in stock for the most part. Uh, every once in a while they'll, they'll run out, but they, uh, typically restock pretty quick. And I also have ordered from the Solo Woodflower a website and they're pretty quick on sending their shipments. And, uh, so I, I really enjoy these flowers. They, if you've never seen or worked with or played with, I feel like I'm playing with Solo Woodflowers, you've got to try them. They are so beautiful. And you can dye them with paint and, and food color and watercolor and just make them gorgeous. Look at this beautiful lantern. That's just an LED candle inside with some you know AAA batteries in there. I'm giving you a little look-see down in there because it looks good from all angles. And my Sola Flowers and that beautiful green musical napkin with the little strawberries. And we're ready for our last DIY. <laughs> Sorry about that. My dog, I'm here in the dining room doing my voiceover and Toby decided to bark at somebody and say hello. All right, so we're gonna move on to this popcorn bucket from the Dollar Tree. And we are going to make this into a riser for some of my platters on the dining room table. And so I'm gonna take my white Ultramat. This is Rust-Oleum two times. And it is its own primer, so it will cover that red stripe and did a nice job. And um, I'm going to use this beautiful bright um, oranges and pinks and greens and yellows of this napkin. It was one, it was a two ply, so it was easy to to separate there. And I'm going to make that the top part of the popcorn bucket, the bottom. So that scalloped edge is gonna be on the bottom and I won't have to put any napkin on the top because I'm gonna be placing some of my uh, platters on top and using this for just a nice sturdy riser. It's so nice and wide. Um, it's gonna be a perfect little base to raise some things up on my dining room table so I can put other things under it. Um, I'm using the napkin and I'm kind of tearing it. I'm doing typical decoupage uh, rules 101, putting it on white background, uh, tearing the edges, uh, putting the Mod Podge down and then the napkin and then Mod Podge on top. I mean, this just couldn't be uh, you know, easier. This is your regular decoupage rules all over the place. And so I'm just gonna put a notch there in the negative, the white space. And I'll use that white napkin to kind of finish up going to the top of this riser or the bottom of the popcorn container so that the texture, which I'm getting, I'm getting texture. I'm getting the, the wrinkles. I want them. I want this smooth, thin plastic to have some texture. And then I'm just going to let it dry with the edges kind of just willy nilly. And so the next morning, here I am coming back with my nail file. It's a nice uh, thick grit, uh, coarse grit nail file. I order these from Amazon. I get them in bulk. And I love to use these to, um, you know, clean up the edges on decoupage. And look at the little scalloped edge. I have a kind of a uh, aqua green platter on top right there displaying a bird and some of my um, copper molds, my brighter copper molds. And then I swapped it out for a white platter there with some shells and some of the solar wood flowers. 
And I just love the way that riser just adds a little extra pop of color. Yay, this has been so much fun. Thank you, Sarah from Sunflowers and DIYing and Mimi from Handicrafting with Mimi. And go and check out the napkins that I sent to know to uh, Audia from um, DIY with Audia. I'll have her uh, link down in my description box, but check out that playlist. Um, there's lots of great crafters there making so many pretty things with napkins. Oh my goodness, I just love these little flowers that I made from with the music uh, from my method books that I have used in the past and listened to kids play. And now I can enjoy this music in a whole different way. And uh, it just makes me smile, makes me so happy. And uh, here it is my dining room in the daytime. So you can see it with a little bit of sunshine there. And I just love this copper patina with the green. Oh so pretty with my my lighter shade copper molds and the shells and that beautiful lantern thank you for joining me today on land living thank you for watching and i hope that you'll like this video and subscribe to my channel and uh, look at the playlist so from the blue house on the corner um, having fun handicrafting with my friends i'll see you next time god bless